Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program for subtraction of 16 bit number. So, program says that subtract 16 bit numbers stored in memory location 4002H and 4003H from 16 bit number in memory location 4000 and 4001H. So, on consecutive 4 memory location, some random data is there from 4000 to 4003. The most significant 8 bits of two numbers are in memory location 4001H and 4003. So, 4001H most significant digit. That's why this number will become 8070H. So, first number is 8070H. And the second most significant 8 bit is in 4003. So, 4003 is MSB. That's why the second digit will become 2030H. So, we need to subtract these two numbers. So let's do subtraction directly. So 0 minus 0 will become 0. 7 minus 3 will become 4. 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. So we are expecting our answer as 6040H. Now last part of the program says that store the result in memory location 4000 and 4005. So after execution, we want our answer in these two consecutive memory location, 4004 and 4005. And the last point says that with the most significant byte in memory location, 4005H. 4005H will have most significant byte. That's why we are expecting 60 over here and 40 at 4004H. So this is our overall program. Then how we are going to solve it? So basically, we will start with LHLD instruction. LHLD stand for load HL pair direct. Suppose if you are writing instruction LHLD 2000. So because of this what will happen? Because of this instruction the content of 2000 and the content of 2001 will get copied inside the L register and H register. Okay. So that is the use of LHLD instruction. So we will start our program by writing LHLD instruction. So let's write first instruction LHLD 4000H LHLD 4000H because of this what will happen the content of 4000 will get copied inside the L register. So L register will take the value of 4000H. So we saw that 4000 was 70. So over here L will become 70H. And next immediate location is 4001. So its content will come in H register. So H register will become the content of 7001 which is 80H. 80H. Now we have taken the number in HL register pair. Why we are doing so? Because we want to perform 16 bit subtraction. And 16 bit subtraction can be done using one of the three register pair. HL pair, DE pair and BC pair. So First number we have taken in HL register pair. Now, this LHLD is a 3 byte instruction. That's why it will take 3 memory locations of program. On 7000H, we will write hex code of LHLD. So, it will come over here. And this 4000 we will write in this way. First, we will write 00, 0 and after that we will write 4000. Now, we successfully got the value inside the HL register pair. Now next instruction which we are going to use is XCHG instruction. XCHG instruction is very simple. It will exchange the content of DE pair with HL pair. Okay. So what will happen? The content of D will get exchanged with H and the content of E will get exchanged with L. Why? Because we want to take the copy of data from HL pair to DE pair. Okay. So because of that what we will do? We will exchange the content of BC pair and DE pair by writing instruction XCHG. So, our next instruction of our program will be XCHG. XCHG stands for exchange to register pairs DE and HL. So, D and E will take the value of H and L respectively. So, D will become 80H and E will become 70H and it is a one byte instruction that's why it will take only one memory location of our program. 
now we got the first number 7080 in de pair so our hl pair is vacant now we can take the new pair new value in hl pair by writing instruction l h l d 4000 2h 4000 2h because of this one second what will happen the content of 4002 will get copied inside the l register so we saw that 4002 was holding 30h so it will become 30h and the content of 4003 will get copied inside the h register so 4003 was 20h so it will now become 20h again it is a 3 byte instruction uh, on 4004 we will write hex code of lhld and this 4002 we will write in this way first we will write 0 to after that we will write 40 so we have taken these two 16 bit numbers in hl pair and de pair now pay attention very carefully now we cannot subtract 16 bit number directly okay because our 8080 per microprocessor is 8 bit processor that's why we will have to do 8 bit subtraction so because of that what we will do is following see hl pair is there and de pair is there so what we will do we will do subtraction register wise okay first we will subtract l and e and after that we will subtract h and d so for that what we will do we will write next instruction mov a comma e mov a comma e it will simply copy the content of e register inside the a register so after execution of this instruction your accumulator will take the value of e and before execution of this instruction e register was 70h so your accumulator will now simply become 70h again it is a one byte instruction that's why it will take only one memory location and next instruction that we will do for subtraction is sub l subtract l so from accumulator the value of l will get subtracted so, so accumulator was 70 and l was 30 so because of this instruction your accumulator will become 70 minus 30 which is 40h so we got our first 8 bit subtraction and answer is in accumulator so but we want that value inside the l register that's why we will once again copy the number in l register by simply writing instruction mov l comma a so the new value of accumulator which is 40h will get copied inside the l register and now our l register will become 40h so out of 16 bit subtraction we have successfully done 8 bit subtraction now remaining 8 bit subtraction we will do in this way so next instruction that we will write is mov a comma d so the value of d register will get copied inside the a register so we saw that the d was 80h therefore new value of accumulator will now become 80h again it is a one byte instruction and this time we will perform subtraction with borrow subtraction with borrow why is it so because when we are performing 16 bit subtraction let's say 2575h minus 2392h so we already have done subtraction of this lower part now we want to subtract this but sub sometimes we may take borrow from previous digits that's why this time while performing subtraction instead of doing direct subtraction we will do subtraction with borrow so right now we are interested in this subtraction that's why instead of doing subtraction directly we will do subtraction with borrow that's why to subtract with borrow we have instruction s s b h s s b h so what will happen the value of h will get subtracted from accumulator now value of h was 20h so it will get subtracted from 80h so your new value of accumulator will become 80 minus 20 which is 60h okay 
now this value is in accumulator but we want to transfer it in h register so because of this we will write next instruction m o v h comma a now your h register will take the value of accumulator which was 60 therefore h will become 60h now in our program we can see that our h is 60 and our l is 40 which is our answer expected answer 40 60h but we want his answer to be get stored at 4004 and 4005 consecutive location that's why finally we will write instruction shld store hl pair direct shld shld stand for store hl pair direct on 4004 h so because of this what will happen 4004 and 4000 5 will get loaded with L and H value. Therefore, at the end, what will happen? The content of 4004 will become 40 and 4005 will become 60. So, because of this instruction, content of 4004 and 4005 will get modified. So, 4005 will take the value. 60h which is actually value of h register and it will take the value of l register 40h l register was 40 that's why it will become 40h and it is a 3 byte instruction that's why it will take 3 memory location on 7000d we will write code of shld and 4004 we will write in this way first we will write 04 then we will write 40 and finally we will terminate our program by writing instruction HLT or RST1. So these instructions are used for stopping the program. So these instructions will stop the program. So it is a simple program of 16 bit subtraction. Over here, instead of doing 16 bit subtraction directly, we have done 8 bit subtraction. First, then another 8-bit subtraction. Thank you.